Hey guys and gals, Sean from Cross RC. Uh, let's see here. Today we're going to do something large. Got a box here that I uh, was told I need to open up and show, so let's open it and show it. Um, from what I can tell so far, it says flagship version and Obviously it says cross. It's also very large. So let's see. Some of you might be able to tell what this is because they're supposed to be pre-ordered on the site right now. Um, so we'll see what we have here. What we have is a brown box inside a brown box. No, I'm kidding. Oh. I think I opened the wrong side. All right, so here we have the DC6. Kind of cool. There's been a lot of uh. A lot of anticipation for this. Some guys are kind of curious about it. Some guys uh, are really excited about it. So here's an unboxing for you. We're going to show you what's in the box. Go over a couple of things. First of all, the box is heavy. I don't know if it's quite as heavy as the BC-8 boxes. The BC-8 box, when it gets shipped out, is about 30 pounds. But we're going to go into something else here in a minute that has to do with the weight. So keep that in mind. Uh, first, first and foremost, build manual. I like the cross build manuals. Some people are complaining that they're not very uh, precise or not very accurate, but in reality, the fact that they show you the hardware, they show you step by step everything that needs to be done to assemble the chassis, these things are actually fairly easy to put together. And the uh, cat's going to lay in the box. So if you hear rustling, that's him. So. Uh, we might have to do this as a multi-part video because the last, uh, last week we tried doing a video. Remember I told you guys I'd do a collection video? Well, it's still coming, but my phone has decided it only wants to record for about two minutes to three minutes at a time and then shut off. So if I have to do this in multiple parts, you'll be able to tell because it'll be suddenly an abrupt ending and then I'll upload another part. But here we go. First bag is... Plastic parts, looks like they're probably parts for the bed, maybe, accessories and trim pieces for the bed, but what I wanted to point out is this right here, this little white tag on the plastic bag, has written on it in grams the weight, which on this one is 208.1 grams. Ever since the SP4, I think it was, uh, we have uh, mandated the cross weigh every single bag to ensure that every part's in there. That way you're not missing anything. So as long as the tag is on there, you know it was weighed before it left the factory. I get to dump this on the cat. <clears throat> Next up we have, looks like air tank ends, some small detail pieces. That's kind of neat. Here we have Fuel tanks, check part of the exhaust on this side. Uh, oh, another, yeah, definitely part of the exhaust because here's the other half of it here. It looks like a step. So there's some pretty nice stuff there. Still recording, still recording. Awesome. Steering wheel and door skins, and what looks like maybe a battery dot box as one of the side steps. Uh, your speaker box. And looks like some trim pieces or build pieces for the side of the chassis. No, I don't really know what most of these are, but <laughs> I'm going by what I remember from other kits. This one looks like wheel covers. And now this is kind of neat. Um, if you look at some of the kits out there that have the molded uh, or cast metal chassis, or cast metal parts, so you don't see a lot of detail in them. Well, you do see detail, but it's molded in on cross. Like, for instance, these little tie-down stanchions here. 
and these little loops and these little tie down pieces here, they're all molded as a separate piece that you have to glue onto the bed. So that's kind of a neat feature with the Cross RC trucks. The detail is immense.